Well, it's time for another history segment here at SSP TV News. We're pleased to welcome back once again our dear friend Charles McElwee. He's a member of the Board of Directors for the Greater Hazleton Historical Society and Museum. And I understand there is a display at the museum that has to deal with the past of the mining industry in our area. So that's the focus of your topic today. Yes, on the third floor of our museum in downtown Hazleton, there is a tribute to the mining experience of the immigrants who came to the Hazleton region and all of the anthracite coal region in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. And this display had me thinking recently of Peggy Noonan, who is a columnist for the Wall Street Journal. She gave a commencement address at Catholic University earlier this year. And the address was focused on the problem among what she found to be the problem among prof professional journalists and politicians that uh, there tends to be a superficial understanding of history today. In this frenetic pace and environment where we're following Twitter feeds, we, we tend to have a superficial understanding. And what she said was, if those trying to make history have only a shallow sense of history, they will not be able to make anything good. And it had me thinking about, I think it's important for all of us to understand the mining experience, certainly in the anthracite coal region. Very well said. Um, we always hear talking about it, but you're saying now this is kind of a resurgence with what's going on in our nation's capital right now, because a new platform introduced by the Democratic Party, you think that ties in with it? Right, so this week, uh, Minority le Leader Chuck Schumer in the Senate uh, announced a better deal. He had a column in the New York mm -hmm. Times and they went to rural Virginia and announced a new platform really to uh, improve their outreach to working class Americans. But I think this is a good example uh, for Democrats. I mean, if they're, if they're looking to spread that message, uh, I would advise them, for example, there's a book by uh, Harold Arant, who was a professor at Penn State Hazelson. It's called Coal Cracker Culture. It's a poignant, a beautiful book uh, that really captures the essence of the coal mining experience. And he, what he focuses on is between the, the, the bracket years between 1835 and 1935. And we read about the deplorable conditions of the company houses, the payroll deductions that families had to endure. And uh, one passage I think really captures it. He says, immigrants and their children knew that Americans dismissed them as cattle, abused them physically, and openly wished they would leave. The often repeated stories of dead accident victims being left on the front porch or in the living rooms of their homes without an explanation or an expression of sorrow carries a clear message of inferiority, as does the adage that one would be fired for killing a mule, but not for killing a minor. And we do have a display in the museum that shows the statistics of how many were killed in the mines, and it, it, it was above 10,000 uh, collectively over nearly a century. Well, if you would like to know more about the history of this region, stop by the Greater Hazleton Historical Society and Museum, and you have a website. Donations are needed and welcome. Yes, please visit the Hazleton, uh, hazletonhistory.org. Uh, we really appreciate the support, but we, we do need contributions to continue our operations. So please consider visiting and supporting the museum so we can continue our mission to preserve and revitalize in the region. All right, great subject, a great place. Please, Charles will be back each and every week with more on the history of our area.